Hi everyone, my name is Dachi, and uh, yep, here we go, it was the fourth time, I mean, first time, I a horrible experience, the third time, uh, what game is looking to give me more horrible experience, I had to talk about this shit, like, third time, and uh, now, we're going to do the fourth time, well, instead of doing a normal thing, like, I hate this ship, I'm gonna try my best, try to explain how to play this ship. And uh, yes, it means we're gonna have to avoid the entire thing that we know currently. So, yeah, let's get into it. So, this is the gameplay for one of the video I have for the uh, challenge, for the weird challenge. So, what it means is, I can only really use the 6.5 coin torpedo. I mean, I still can use a gun, I can still use my gun, I can use a gun, well, it doesn't even exist anyways, but uh, here it goes. So, the way it works is I'm gonna try to teach you guys how to play it, the ship. So, it means, if you try to use a 50 car range, no, you have, you have to avoid those using the torpedo, no matter what. Because I, I, I tested it out, it doesn't work really well. Instead, you want to use as much as you can with those close range combat torpedo, because most of the time, you're gonna become close range. You're not gonna be long range, so uh, yeah. You don't go to out, you don't gotta wait for another extra time, just wait for the Tokyo Rito and just have to fire an extra cell again. No, you don't have time, you have the close in combat, you're just gonna have to be ready, and fire out, sync them up, and here it goes. So, we're gonna keep the starting beginning with over here. The first thing that you need to be careful is where you're putting this destroyer. First, you have to keep the eyes on the carrier. Because, yes, this is an AA gun, and means you're gonna have to figure out a way to avoid uh, those planks. Second, any ship that has hydro, German hydro especially, especially the German hydro, you want to avoid those, because the German is a 6K hydro, depending on which one it is. So, but otherwise, avoid the German one as much as you can, so yeah. Oh, I did myself, I actually did not, I mean, not the other one, of course, or just myself. Also, uh, do not do any gunfight any, for any destroyer, even if you shoot, a, even if you have a gun, ready to shoot. Do not shoot them, so, uh, yeah. Let's get into it. First, on the beginning of the match, and yes, it takes a while, making sure you double check your map, the, what your ship is, and what is the load of the ship is look like, so that you know where you want to go. You want to go for outside, you want to go kind of sneak to the sea cap, so, uh, yeah. Remember, you also have to look at your team because you don't even know what the team gonna do. They may run away to the PDA cap. You just never know. So you just have to keep the eyes on it. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna talk full, full speed right here. Pretty much. This is full speed. So you can see the carrier is doing, our CV is doing your spawning on AB. So that's good. to help it that side. But remember, if you can see CV is on that side, it means he's gonna try to focus on that side mostly. And for enemy carrier, you have to keep eyes on their plane. Just in case anything goes wrong, they might go for you. So you have to try uh, to make sure you try to avoid the planes. Like you can see, the point, the point of twin is coming towards this side. So I'm decided to do one thing: try to avoid driving close and go away by the button. Go away by driving around the edge to making sure I not get detected the planes. And yes, this mini map system is not actually really accurate. So I have seen the map is a little big in, in the later future. So yeah, but too big, it feels like my eyes cut, they're burning. But it's because the, this this thing, the world game is not making it match correctly. So they had to fix it. Keep going. So you can see my, I'm turning it a really wide out because I'm trying to avoid getting detected by two points. Because if it's detected, it is really hard to use those the 6 week 5 kilometer torpedo. So the first thing you see is a lasso. So, uh, not really too much, I'm not just gonna mostly ignore that lasso mostly, but, uh, right now I'm trying my best to spawn and destroy here, because I try to know which destroyer is gonna be here, because there's Zelda, Zager, or, mm, I keep the name, and Mugato. So, and then other spawning system is either the, to do the either tier 9 destroyer. And, uh, there's a Mugato, and means one thing is, you do not want to fight the Megato, and most likely he's gonna try to chase you. So what you're gonna do is get your torpedo ready, and even though you're not gonna use your gun, so you're gonna have to turn away. And see what's that Megato doing? 
if he push away, he kind of flows in the medallion, keep him water over and over again, make the medallion thinking he has pushed out, go dry away. But if he's driving really close to you and decide to turn it back to the cap, turn back to the your side, then you can start radio torpedo and fire it. Example, like this is the direction where the Megalo decides to drive back towards the your side. It means this is a good time you can fire the torpedo when he's drawing straight line because the Megalo speed is so fast that sometimes it came well dodging it that even his fast speed. Unless he slowed down, but uh, it is too late because it's really tough to take the torpedo. So, this is part when torpedo is going to be fired, and he decides to drive straight line after a few seconds. This is the part, and remember, never fire your torpedo in the white line. Because these are only the systems only showing that the ship is the currently direction, not the future one. It means you're making sure to be a little more farther. For example, like the ship is a, at like 45 degree, you don't get a little farther. If it's outside, like out of a 45 degree, you may you don't want to fire it because it's going to run out of range. So, just keep on. And this is a part where is uh, I detected because he's going to try to do a gunfight with me. So I'm trying not to shoot my gun because if I shoot my gun, it does nothing detect me. I cannot go dark. So it's rather just to stay dark and think I'm going to try to run away because the Megala thinking, oh, he's going to run away. So here it goes. I'm going to chase you very much. Here it goes. And the one other thing is that's what happened. You just, just forgot this thing. You had a torpedo and you get it. Destroy it. So here it goes. That's the way you take it on the destroyer. And now, the problem is the CB. If a CB now see you, because the teammate got destroyed it and they already see you, there's the over here. I mean, the carrier is going to try to bomb you. The first thing you do is, you're going to try to go forward. Pretty much. But uh, it's starting to get close. You're going to want to stop your ship. Completely. And you know what type of carrier it is? It means, um, yeah, sometimes it works, I mean, what you just have to look for which this carrier is. Like, Hornet is an AP bomb, so it won't do too much, so I'm not worried about too much. I'm just, what I did is I'm just, just kind of stop my ship, pretty much. One of, one of the positions, right here, starting reversing. So he, when he drops the bomb, he's just gonna drop in front of my notes, that's all. And then it does like few damage. And remember, it's always better to keep uh, moving forward, but sometimes maybe better to reverse it to do re like uh, avoiding some damage. Because you try not to take too much damage. One of the things is this build is not survivability build. It means it's actually a losing hit points. It means I try to save as much hit points as possible, even though I don't have a captain build for the hit points because I changed the build a little bit. So here it goes. And uh, now. There are three ships you can pick to target from. Lazo, you mostly gonna try to go for the last. So uh, your main target is mostly gonna be battleships that are really easy to hit, that are bigger hull, harder to turn, and maybe so that is the best target all over here. And there's not just one, but two. So yeah. But remember, if enemy is pushing on you, you want to avoid as much as you can. And uh, try, also, try not to blame fire, because this, this, by the way, one of the mistakes I ever did on this the gameplay is that because it's the first time I've actually been using the 6 fire the entire time. So, one of the biggest mistakes is I I was thinking about trying how to gonna draw this torpedo, because that made it so that the side keep drawing left and right. Because one of the problems about the 65 is if enemies are turning away, those torpedoes are gonna miss. So it may, if enemies keep turning left, right, left, right, it means those torpedoes are not gonna do anything because they are too fast. They are not able to just kind of go change directions. I like a submarine torpedo, of course. <laughs> well, well, keep going. And then one of the things, the double edged side, I smoke up and I fire the torpedo randomly, thinking about where he may go. And also the causing a the cause the uh, entire spawning gone because I'm the spawning here. There is no CV support. It means really tough spawning. While well, also enemy CV is coming, so that actually smoke helped me a little bit to go in dark. Because if I don't go dark with that part and CV spawn me, I can get destroyed by the mid soda if it's going to reload it. So, and also the point is that because there is the missiles in the cap, it's not good idea to keep power in the in the cap. But rather drive out and keep the spotting uh, going. So here it goes. K 
keep the spotting going. It's always try to help you to tame it a little bit to be able to see the ship around. So they can at least think about if they want to push or not. This is the part where the thing begins. Is that you're looking at the map and you're thinking, do I want to go be close to the B, the B cap? Or why don't I drive around to this front and try to torpedo uh, the missile on the, in the cap first, then the other one. So uh, here it goes. You have to keep the eyes on. And not just that, you have to keep the eyes on the radar, carrier points, carrier position, and the engine ship that has a hydro position. So, uh, yeah, you gotta have to really careful pointing this ship. It's not just easy. And this is the part what you won't see is that the Minnesota is starting reversing going forward over and over again. So, the torpedo fire style, you have to completely fire different way. Like, remember, I tried to go for the last offer because it's more easy to target. And yes, very much. Because Lazo decided to drive into the, the fighting zone and getting himself killed. So that's the way you need a torpedo. If they just decide to push forward, they're gonna sink. Because you, the torpedo range is actually 7 column range if you drive forward. So that will be one down. And this is the part where you see it is that sink freeze right here. Sink freeze is a really heavy ship. And it's a hydro. Yeah, you don't want to drive too close. So. One is, if you're out of your torpedo, your torpedo still really, you want to drive away as fast as you can before the hydro hit you. Because when you get hydro, you're pretty much doomed. And uh, most of the time, you're not going to even fire a torpedo at them because they're going to dodge it because they already see it. So, it's always better to avoid any some uh, the ship that has a hydro or will try to draw away from it unless the hydro is down. And you want to make sure you're counting down the time. Knowing what, how long is the hydro going to be on and when the hydro is down so you can know when the next hydro is going to be ready soon. Like, pretty much between like 1 30 seconds, you have to do a math countdown right there in the brain. So here it goes. And that, the good thing is that I got a teammate help me to be able to sink the sick free that are getting close to me. So yeah, the gear helping at the same time. So allow a little bit eh, support. And now, the six, the six is now gone. That means the missile is complete by itself right here. Now, be able to see anything. This part is really risky because I detect it, but it's okay because I know that missile is going to be sinking by my torpedo. I find one side of the forward right here, one side of backwards. So, if the missile is going forward, he's going to eat one torpedo or two. While he's reversing, he's going to eat one or two. It means either one's going to hit. It's not gonna just gonna hit all of them at the same time, but it's just gonna be one of them that's gonna hit. At least one set's gonna hit, not two of them, they're all gonna hit. Because I don't know if the main set's gonna keep reversing or going forward, so I have to do a guess for it. And the game is pretty much already done for this point, and uh, now your job is just to do whatever you like. At the point they're pretty close, it, you just, just do whatever you want. Get the cab, it goes to the cab, that's pretty much all, because the game is over. Your job is done. So the enemy can put it down and sink them slowly. And see? And you can see some spot destroyed and shoot a gun even if you want. So here it goes. And that'll be the end of the game. Pretty easy. Who needs a 650 con torpedo? So, yeah, one of the things, if you really want to use a 50 con torpedo, I recommend don't don't use it. Just don't even think about using this ship. If you want to play 50 con torpedo, Go play Yudachi. It's a better ship. You get better real system. But if you want to use a long range torpedo, Shimon is a good choice too. Or you can play you give my uh too. So yeah. I mean 6.4k is 5k is really tough to use in. But if you use to the ship, the torpedo system, you actually play really well. That is what game is just completely screw the ship up because uh what game is just don't really care. They just really well screw the ship up. They give the ship a 50 gong torpedo that doesn't do anything. Here it goes. By the way, if you didn't know, I actually did not use being gong torpedo the entire game and also keep firing my 65 torpedo over and over again. It means you're always using that torpedo. You're not going to waiting yet. You're always just using it. Because you're always being the front line. So it means you're not going to use a 15 con 15 con torpedo. It's going to take a really long time hitting a target and it's easy to get dodging it. So it means. Rather than the long range and slower, just use the 6 5 because you're already in the front line, you can shoot torpedo. Here it goes. You just have to be careful with radar, planes, and hydro, and then the submarines, and other DDs that have a good gun system and it's consuming, so 
But anyway, this is like consuming with Pokemon 4. So yeah. And also the speed build making it even more faster. So yeah. Even though the damage are 42k, yeah, you don't you're not really care about damage. So your job is to slow the enemy didn't get played down really hard. Slow them, harass them, make sure they're not be able to do what uh, do anything they can to get a cap. And it's like the company just like get make them out of position. So yeah. Super Mac for you is really tough to use it, but if you use it a lot of time, it's enjoyable. So yeah, by the way, that is my first game, it means being on the third, it's not bad, but I think about maybe be, be, be between like five say maybe bottom one because yeah, I mean it is I mean I didn't do too much right there. I I just kinda sp scout out, getting a cap, kinda kinda slow the cap down. Mostly just kinda slow enemy down a little bit. I mean even the sleepy game is kinda really hard to play here and there's a high drill, but uh if you play careful, you do you're gonna do a really well game. So yeah. And the torpedo damage. Even though they get 4 torpedo hit, but that I better than that is still better than having a zero hit torpedo with a 450 column torpedo. Your gun? You're not really using it. I mean, I should like torch it out. Half the hit, not bad actually. It's really good accuracy. So yeah. I mean, even though the torpedoes are slid short range, they're really hard to use it, but if you're used to it, it's good. Damage? It's 40k, or almost 40k. Well, it should be able to just like almost like 10k damage right there. It's the calculating right because depending on where you're gonna hit, either the hole or the tail, so. Or depending on how many hit points the ship have, so. Yeah. I was gonna say, if you see the ship, you can actually be able to master it. But the thing, the thing is, I still don't recommend the ship. Even though I actually kind of enjoy the 56 and 5, but I don't even, I don't want to recommend this ship to other people because if half the ship is not usable, like the 15 column number, is, you're not going to use those, then what's the point of the other ship to be there? If you're just using the 15 and 5 and uh, 6 and 5 all the time, why does that even exist? Maybe just remove that torpedo, give the buff on the 6 and 5 torpedo. I would rather just do that. Maybe give that like 7k. But otherwise, I mean, it's not a bad ship. I try to love it. It's just working. It just really want to push it to the bottom of the ocean for me. So yeah, that's the end of the video for this one. And this is the last one I'm going to do the Mini Gumo. There will be another one. Trust me. If we decide to buff this thing like later in the next patch, I may do it again. Just please. <laughs> I'm already a nightmare. I mean, I even have to go and go ready for like three hours for the uh, taxi from a vacation. So I decided to do this video, so keep myself awake. And I even got a coffee right here. Just keep myself awake. So in the end, I do not recommend the ship unless you want to play with your risk, with, with your life, risk play. And most of the super players are mostly playing non-risk type. It means they want to play as safe as possible. So here it goes. And for me, I like risky. I like to play risk game. Rather than just playing a normal ship, normal thing, I like to play risky. I like to play as risk as possible. Because I want to try play as much as different style as possible for each ship and see where it works, where it not works. And that's the reason why I build a gun build in the early time, because uh what happened with Bill Gun Bill? Maybe she stopped changing. So here you go. That's the reason why you're over here now. With a concealment and torpedo build. And that little small become gun build at the same time. Even though it's kind of reduced the gun real speed because the, uh, the, the silence. So, uh, but it's okay. The gun is still good. So yeah. So, in the end, I do not recommend this ship. But if you want to buy it, go for it. I mean, I'm not going to stop you. It's your own opinion. Each of your own opinion. My opinion is that uh, I do say it's a good ship. It's just the Wargame didn't put effort inside there. They just kind of just left it there. I mean, the thing going torpedo with that speed, it came from the Yushino. 20 column range, but by really was like 5 column range. The torpedo is not bad, 
because they actually kind of slow, but they actually got a little lucky hit. That's pretty good. It close range combat too. But this one is different. I do like. I kind of hope the Wargaming at least kind of do some change to the torpedo system for this one. For you, you need a little buff, and then maybe give a the uh, real booster. That's it. So, if I'm doing the buffing the ship for this one, I will say, changing the fifty calling torpedo. Torpedo speed from the 60 knot to 70 knot to same as the Yudashi torpedo. Torpedo range don't change, that's okay. And then the last thing you're getting at the real booster. They really need to add that one because I actually should have one. But not for the Miyagumo. This is actually a class. Why did not have one? Like, yeah, I actually got the Tobio Real Blizzard, even got smoke, but this didn't even have it. So, what do you mean? Are you watching this? Please buff it. At least buff either one. Buff it either uh, getting a, a Tobio Real Blizzard or a give uh, extra speed for the uh, Infinity Call Beetle Torpedo. Otherwise, this ship is largely half useless for the, the, consumer, uh, the, the weapon that it has. Because people are gonna use a 635 torpedo, and that's it. They just ignore the 50 car torpedo. They not even, ex they didn't even matter. They don't even exist. So uh, yeah, that's the end of the video. I'll see you guys two weeks after two weeks because I'm only after like ten days. So yeah, have a nice day. Uh, good luck in Zilby 311 patch, and I'll see you guys on the next patch. I don't even know what's next patch for me now. So uh, yeah, the end. All my. Fourth thought, and mostly a more about how do you play me a Gumo? Yeah, Jesus Christ, what's the, what am I doing right there? The end.